a symbol of a country in mourning, suddenly being politicized on the campaign trail. I'm very proud of our country, despite the scars from our past. The conservative leader now says it's time to raise the flags. I have said that this September 30th, the National Day of commemorating truth and reconciliation. We will do that as a country to recommit to reconciliation. And we will then raise our flag as a sign of that commitment of building a strong and better Canada in the future. But the other major party leaders say they would take a different approach. I plan to keep those flags at half mast uh, until uh, it is clear that Indigenous peoples are happy to raise them again. Well, I absolutely agree that there is a, a symbolic power in lowering the flags. What I really want to see is that every single one of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to actions are implemented. The idea that now it is a political um, talking point is quite disturbing. National Indigenous leaders are calling for the maple leaf to remain lowered at federal buildings until they reach an agreement with the government. That is an ultimate sign of respect that um, was never given during those children's lives. But some Indigenous people are concerned the longer the flags remain at half-mast, the less meaning the honour holds. If you stop noticing, that loses its value. This former Truth and Reconciliation Commissioner says instead the focus should be on building a national monument. That would be something that would be a living reminder um, and, and somewhere where people would be able to gather. No matter when the flags are raised, the next federal government will have to grapple with the enduring impacts of residential school and a painful legacy many Canadians are finally demanding be addressed. Olivia Stepanovich, CBC News, Ottawa.